Hello, and welcome to another episode of Bits and Brews with Brent and Brian. I'm Brent. I'm Brian. And, and with him, as always, is Buzz. Every week, we play three randomly selected games from a library of over 4,000 titles. Mm -hmm. While we do that, we drink beer. What are we drinking this week, Brian? I have the 2015 Anchor Christmas beer. They put out a different beer every year with a slightly different recipe, so... We'll see how it is this year. I like the label on that. Did you show the, the people the label? It's very pretty. Why? Yes, it's a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, from the good people at West 6th Brewing. I'm having the Dog and Chain Oktoberfest. Buzz? Well, um, the Lord came down and said a few things about alcohol, so I have a non-alcoholic non drink. Did he? From the UCC <laughs> company. Melon Creamy Soda. Mm. Made in Japan. Product of Japan. It says, uh, drink in a short period of time. <laughs> like, so, from the time it was bottled, or once you open it? Like, when you open it, you need to, you know, slam it? It's just one of the bullet points. It God says, um, don't put it in direct sunlight and drink in a short period of time. So it's like a gremlin, more or less. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Well, bottled gremlin. We'll see if, if Buzz survives the episode. We're going to go ahead and pick our first game of the evening. Super International Cricket. Was that what it was called? <laughs> yes. I think that's what it was called. For the uh, SNES. Full disclosure, I have absolutely no idea how to play cricket or what the rules are or anything. So, Well, my understanding is you got to know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. Or it's, it's a mutant engine. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, how about a fast match? Sounds good. Two players? Two and three point. Oh, the other is. There we go. Aren't you glad you asked? Number of overs? No one knows what that means. Pakistan versus Sri, Sri Lanka. Lanka. Alright, that's good enough right out of the gate. Reminds me of the uh, Sri Lanka Sex Hotel. That's a, a song hmm. by the Dead Moped. Uh, a new bowler? Okay, now. And. Wait a minute. And. It looks like I. I or are you I have play defense controller? or whatever? I don't know. Let's find out. Ready? Uh -huh. Here we go. Oh! No bowler! Woo! Yes! Hot damn! Go get it, Brent! Uh, he's, no one's moving. Uh, that was uh, wicked. You committed icing. It's a what? <laughs> you say it's a wicked? Alright, here we go again. Right? Do you know anything about that? Uh, we have a guest star here, Andy. Uh, can you tell us anything about <laughs> cricket? Okay. No. I'm throwing it again. And. No, you, Brent. I'm great at this. Are you kidding me? Yes. No! And so is it not supposed to bounce on the I don't ground? know how it works. Well, you're yes. Okay, wait a minute. Let me. You're off sides, I'll, I'll tell you that. Put the arrow here. And I'm going to try to throw it directly to you so it doesn't bounce. No ball! Oh, oh, you tried to hit me, you jerk. Okay. All right. Basically, there's three sticks behind the batter. Your oh, job as the pitcher is to get the ball past the batter and to break the sticks. What? Really? Yep. That's just terrible. That is insane. That's insane. That can't possibly be no. true. It's true. But I don't see any sticks. They're behind them. you got to know what a crumpet is. you got to curve right. the ball around you his legs quote, between these legs. Quote. Somehow I'm thinking this is all being made up. Nope. <laughs> Runner. Mm. Wait a minute now. All right, you just need you know to move, move this? aside. Right? Just move aside. I can't move. You can't move at all. There you go. See? You oh, move. okay. Oh, look. There. Wait a minute. Let me see. Let me and there are three stick. sticks there. No ball. You are kidding. I thought that totally thought you were screwing with me, breaking the sticks behind the player. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go to Wik Wikipedia. All right. I'm gonna take Andy's. Here we way. go, Brent. 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 No Oh, but I broke all three. He did break the sticks. Yeah. Have you played cricket again? No, I learned about it from listening to podcasts. Oh, oh so podcasts. I don't. All right, I'm just going to try to kill listening you. Listening to an Australian guy talk about it. Oh, man. Well, I have no idea what was going on there, but that it was great. The game seemed functional, at least. Uh, we Something was happening. So in cricket, you throw a ball and you break the sticks, and the player tries. So it's like. A retarded version of hockey. Please. And our second game of the evening for the arcade, Raviolipus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This seems to be a flying space flying rabbit game. Rabbit bunnies, I would assume. Oh god. Oh, in Japanese. It's Japanese. The credit credits. Nice. I think I get the credits. They're help. help. Ooh, bunny girls. Well, at least we know they need help. Here, you want to try it first? I want oh, first sure, last time. Sure. Here you go. Three, 
One. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. you can do it. You can. So, oh, well, we both can get in probably. Oh, that's like yeah. Galaga First and player. Super Mario Bros. Here we are, yeah! So, it's a side scrolling shooter uh -huh. where you are a giant. <laughs> and, uh, you slash the side scrolling. <laughs> right. I understand the shooting point. That's what uh, she had to say about that. I'll just do it. That's, uh, that just means there's something wrong with you physically. At this point, it's something wrong with her. Why would she even. <laughs> I don't know. You know anything she says? She's in love, dude. She's in love. She's in love by a lot of people. Whoa, heads! Wait a minute, that's, that's the Earth back there. there. I think we're like in a spaceship around the Earth. Is yeah. that supposed to be the Earth back there? And we so are flying we are space rabbits. In the future. Is that a space rabbit? A sushi scroll? They oh, get they shot and then the face comes out. Oh. Just ate a radioactive carrot and it killed everything, oh. including you! <laughs> I think I got shot. Oh, that's. I don't think you can take credit for it. Take over, Buzz. Yeah, this the is just rabbit. a move and shoot. You're, you're good. You're the rabbit who's actually doing well. I don't think there's any amount of marijuana in this game. Are you kidding me? Is that a robotic I'm horse? willing to try. <laughs> <laughs> you just got the right? No. My robot horse. Yeah. And you killed it. I gave up my life. Carrots! 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 Yeah, this is the bonus round. So oh, what so you're go? making your way from the ship to the asteroid base to the planet. If we haven't said it recently, what's going on, Japan? Oh, man. They got a thing for rabbits, though. Rabbits in diapers with sledgehammers, flying rabbits. But we all have the same for flying rabbits. Uh, it was that puzzle game we played the other day had a rabbit in it. Too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about the rabbits. Oh, man, I just suck at this, apparently. <clears throat> you have died before. <laughs> Oh, wait, you just oh, died oh. permanently. <laughs> oh. Your corpse Buzz is still making it away. Uh, Good job, Buzz. Thank you. <laughs> and our third and final game of the evening. <laughs> A hockey game inexplicably named Bullfighter. <laughs> yeah. 1984 Sega. Uh, Sega. I don't add all the credits. There we go. All right, one or two players. You don't tell me to turn down, old man. Team name, Brent. Ass. There you go. Oh, I missed oh, the bar. You missed, you missed you made him a pirate! <laughs> Damn it, Brent. He's hey, supposed to be a bullfighter. How is it from R. Icky? Andy, what do you think of hockey? I... <laughs> it's not like cricket, only it sucks. <laughs> hockey Live is really cool. Uh, wait, I used to love the hockey game on the Genesis. Yeah, I mean, if you ever get a chance to see an actual I'm professional coming. hockey game, do it, because it's pretty incredible. I saw the Village People after an Ice Hawks game once. Yeah, <laughs> before that, you know, they're both pretty similar. I'm going to block that for sure. Try as you might. Go ahead. Why can't wait. I shoot it at the basket? You're passing it. All you're doing is passing. So is there a shoot? Ah, uh, there's got to be a shoot. Oh, okay, okay, I got, it, I got it, I got it. Icing! Team R! I never understood what icing the puck meant. I don't know what any of this shit means. Because you know hockey is on ice. Yeah. You're gonna you're always gonna be icing the puck, I would think. If you're not icing the puck, what are you doing? Mmm. That's just awful. Oh, oh yeah. You bastard. Nice. Oh, in the go. Do I have to is when you hit it from one end to the other without it's like but you're you're basically hitting it all the way down and then going and getting it yourself. But the other team is not ice. Up. Um, Alright, Brent. So basically, it's just that's all right. <coughs> selfish. Here we go. Whoa. Here we go, Brent. Oh, nice block. Thank you. I'll pick it up and Get score. It. Block it. <laughs> oh, oh, Brent! Jesus. Brent, uh, it seems as though you weren't paying attention. I was definitely paying attention. I, uh, I just was powerless to stop you. Now you'll notice that I banked it off the wall to shoot it into your bow. I couldn't make any... I don't know how you select which man you're going to move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. a sports There we man. go! Oh, oh God! Brent! Damn it. You don't move out of the way when they, when they come to score. <laughs> I thought I was Stay moving! Stay in front of the board. I was trying to move the guy over to... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, wait, uh, do I have time to get one more point? One more point on Brent? Come on. Come on, alright. Um, uh, we're gonna have a rematch. No, I'm going hockey, for it. Hockey, I'm going! Keep playing until the until the refs call it. Pick it up! Pick it up! 
Wait, we got 19 seconds uh -oh. left. We should just finish. No! <laughs> How do you switch guys? I don't know, I keep getting lost too. If anybody no! Oh know. yeah! Hey, thanks, Ali. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 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 well, <coughs> bullshit. Well, there you have it, folks. Three games randomly selected. We're going to review those games now. The first one we played this evening was... Oh, 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 Super International Cricket. Very good. I don't know anything about cricket. I don't know anything about the game we played, but somehow I still enjoyed it. Um, maybe the satisfying connection of the cricket bat to the ball, even though I don't know where it was supposed to go, if I was getting any points for doing that. So that's a hallmark of a good game. So that's like a two and a half star game I have today. Two and a half wickets. I, I it's didn't, a sticky wicket. I didn't really believe what Andy was telling us uh, about cricket, but apparently it is just breaking sticks. So uh, <laughs> if you can have fun breaking sticks, you probably got a great two star game. I just know that uh, Brian was offside the entire time, <laughs> so uh, that was taking me out of the experience a little bit. That's just um, awful. The gameplay was satisfying, uh, the camaraderie amongst the people in the room was uh, top notch. <laughs> so the game gets one and a half stars. But the camaraderie gets five stars? Every time. <laughs> Andy, you didn't play, but did you have any uh, um, impressions of the game? No. No. The answer is no. no. Alright. Our second game of the evening, Remio Lepus. A very Japanese game, a side-scrolling shooter with uh, robotic space rabbits. That's pretty much exactly uh, what it is, and you get what you pay for there. Uh, that being said, it's a simple game mechanic, it's very colorful, and it has uh, like radioactive carrots. So that's, again, like a two and a half star game. That's the sort of thing I could play mindlessly for a while, probably. By the way, you didn't get what you paid for. You paid nothing. And you stole this. Good job, Brad. I didn't steal it. <laughs> I own a copy, a hard copy of Rabio Lepus. That's right. So you do I. You can't see it here, but... And, and I have the arcade machine behind this curtain. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Now, uh... Yes! Oh, oh God. God! I actually uh, like that game. Uh, it's a side-scrolling shooter, as you said. I like that it showed your goal in the beginning. You had to go from the ship to the asteroid belt to the planet. I want to play. I want to get to the planet. God damn it. Three stars. I did not like that game. Uh, robotic rabbits or whatever, whatever they're trying to offer me. It just did not speak to me in any way. So it gets two stars. Any, any thoughts on Rebio Uh I was bummed out that you guys didn't play long enough to get to the level where you shoot quarters into a vending machine and get used panties. Mm. 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 I'm also noticing <clears> that. That would have been cool. And our final game of the evening, uh, <laughs> a hockey game called Bullfighter. <laughs> which has to be a mistake, right? Uh, <laughs> but it said it even when we started the game. I thought it would be mislabeled. <laughs> even though uh, I was mercilessly beaten by a, a cheating Brian... Um, hockey games are, even though I don't really want to watch hockey in real life, hockey video games are usually pretty fun. Mm. Uh, again, that's the sort of game that I could play uh, without much of a complaint for quite a while. So it's probably execution of that concept, again, about two and a half stars. That's where I'm going to stick it tonight. I, I was playing NHL 94 on the Genesis just last mm -hmm. night, which is probably why I, uh, I knew all the hockey moves. So, uh, I love hockey games, and I could play pretty much any hockey game, going all the way back to Blades of Steel on the NES, so that's an easy three-star game for me. It's like the only sports game I want to play. Hockey is one of my favorite sports. Um, <laughs> I played it a lot growing up. Did you? Uh, just me and my sister. Uh, Word up, Kathy. <laughs> so, in honor of my sister, this gets zero stars. <laughs> Andy, any thoughts about uh, I was <coughs> bummed out that you guys didn't get to the level where you shoot a puck into a vending machine and get used to it. <laughs> yeah. 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 We were, were getting there, but I don't know that we were. That was, we the, score. That was the second period. Yeah. All right, now our drinks. I had from West <coughs> Sixth Brewing, the Dankeschein Oktoberfest. I found it to be um, light and, um, and sweet. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, we've kind of had a lot of Oktoberfests here in this little stretch. In November. <laughs> in November. But in I December. think it compares well. I would I would drink this any time of year. Thank you. Got the uh, 2015 Anchor Christmas beer. And last year, I remember, it was fairly dark. This was pretty dark this year, too, but it uh, doesn't taste quite as rich. I mean, it tastes really good, but a little bit more 
cinnamony almost. So nutmeg. No, I'm not really picking up Pig the nutmeg. Dog. Not like a pe- pumpkin beer, but gingerbread. Uh, definitely a holiday beer for Maybe sure. You've so. changed. That's a nice beer, probably. So good job, Anchor. Uh, no problem with uh, driving a car with something like this. It's melon creamy soda. Um, <laughs> as long as you drink it in a short amount of time. Right? That's true, but it's a short on short trips. It's what it's good for. <laughs> Uh, made in Japan, but imported from Singapore. And I actually have the address. It's 767 Upper Saragoon Road. Uh, so if you're near there, you won't have to do any kind of... You don't have to go to the grocery. Uh, drink it very quickly, so let's open it. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Biggest mistake to no, smell. Doing it. <laughs> it's going to get high. Right down your throat. Um, right down your throat. Just pour it right down your throat. Does it smell like? But I usually tell people what body it, works. What it smells like. Um, it's closer to paint than you would. <laughs> <laughs> Does it tell you to shake it? You have to shake it up. <laughs> well, it's shake cre- it, it's cream. But if you do, yeah. creamy suggests milk, but it's carbonated, so that suggests issues with the <laughs> shake up. But mm. down the hatch, chug. <laughs> <laughs> His face spoke volumes. <laughs> uh, why do I keep drinking these things? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It, was, it does it smell like paint, but it, it's, it just tastes like a thick soda. <laughs> no, so thank you. That's what it sort of sells here. I don't taste melon. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's everything for this week, folks. Please visit us on Twitter at Bits and Brews. Please email us, bitsandbrews at gmail.com, and post questions at hotmail.com. You can check out our YouTube channel, Two Men, One Couch. From everyone here at Two Men, One Couch Productions, on behalf of Danny Cash, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.